Hi guys, it's June here and wherever you are around the world, I hope you're having a fabulous day. Welcome back to my channel and here's another episode of Noble Book Review. So let's get rolling! Today's featured book has been on my TBR list for the longest time. Now I chanced upon this book as I was leaving the library with a stack of books in my hands and uh, hey, what's one more? As you can see, this is a very well-thumbed copy. Now I do believe people should treat their library books a little bit better, but having said that, I'm happy that this book is being read. In fact, I'm very happy to know that people are reading. The Boy in the Striped Pajamas by John Boyne is accurately described as a story of innocence in a world of ignorance. Nine-year-old Bruno was extremely unhappy because he has been told that his family will be moving away from their comfortable five-story home, his familiar streets and his three best friends to somewhere far away. Now when he arrives at the new but desolate location, things do not look up. There are no busy streets, there are no cafes, there are no gossiping neighbours. There is nothing to do and no one to play with. loves to explore and one day he ventures a little bit further from his house and he meets Shmuel, a boy in a striped pajamas and he lives on the other side of the wire fence. Now their friendship provides much solace to Bruno and their meetings become something that they both look forward to but yet there is a huge divide. They circle around the issue like children often do when it comes to uncomfortable subjects because they value their friendship so much and they don't really want to hurt each other's feelings. Even that is put through a test. So does their friendship survive these hurdles? reading with an unexpected twist at the end. If I could, I would make this a compulsory read at school. While the subject of the Holocaust is a difficult one, it is an important one. As the saying goes, when credited to philosopher George Santayana, those who do not learn from history are doomed to repeat it. While the horrors of war and the atrocities that people can inflict on each other are real, I find these messages very skillfully weaved into the story in a way that young readers can absorb while still being mature enough for grown-ups to appreciate. There are so many aspects of this book to explore. The world history, World War II, the Holocaust, friendship, family ties, the love between a parent and a child. But for me, the biggest takeaway is I'm reminded once again, children in their innocence are so accepting, embracing people as they are. And this was also my experience when I was doing some volunteer work in Yogyakarta, Indonesia. Um, you can check out those videos in my Noble Travels playlist. Kids often, um, they do not judge, they just accept you as, as you are and I'm afraid it is often the adults that spoil the party. It is our responsibility to not just instill empathy and kindness to the younger generation, but to also show them as well by being mindful in the way that we treat each other and also in the way that we speak to and of each other. So guys, this is a must read for everyone. The Guardian aptly called this a small wonder of a book, a particular historical moment, one that cannot be told too often. The Boy in the Striped Pajamas has been made into a feature film produced by BBC Films and Heyday Films and distributed by Miramax. Mark Herman won Best Director for this movie at the British Independent Film Awards in 2008. That's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to hit that like button and share this video because if you do, good things will come your way. And please do subscribe if you haven't already. That would help me so much. 
Until I see you again, remember to be kind, be better, noble. Bye!